Welcome back to some more Monster Train 200 plus shard action. Just playing along, talking along, going through what I am doing. Today we are with Echo Right and Echo Breaks. So let's get started, see what we get paired up with. We have ourselves some Hellhorn. We see Hosting Can, Horn Breaks, Soul Crushing Guild. Wow, that's an amazing start. Daedalus the Double Barrel, Junk Bell, and Seraph the Temperance. So really annoying ones except for the final. Temperance, who cares, right? Our Forge shows us, I mean, I take a Martial Lord. Great early survivability. Um, Do we take the Horn? You know what? Let's take the Unbroken Horn. Maybe we save up for some bigger turns. And we're just going to snap that early Ashes, right? Double Summons can be very, very strong. A lot of things you can do with it. Oh. Alright, so let's just summon our double eggs, ping it, take out the healer. We agreed for money. Um, we take out the big healer. We're just going to ping ourselves twice. Let's get our units hatched. And drop a pair of train stewards. We are taking some damage, unfortunately. Um, that's actually kind of a little funny that the uh, double egg summon is hurting me a bit because I have no consume cards. Basically, that means if I see a consume card, I should probably take it just for the hatch ability of my eggs. Ooh, 12 damage. Not the most solid start, but oh man, if infuse ancient resonance. I want that ritual, but I think we really need just the purples, unfortunately. And we can take the carver purple. That's some great starting defense. Endless and health. No imps for the endless, though. We could do more eggs. Do we just do eggs on eggs? Hmm. That is a question. I think no. We, we do not do that. That would be silly. Um, we're just going to give you plus 25 health. We can hold off for a multi-strike for two rounds pretty easily. Minus two into the resonance. Plus 10 in piercing into it. That's a great wave clear for us. Let's just do a train steward into train steward to get it out of the deck. We take that unit draft. Ooh, scary guy there, but we uh, do have the ability to hatch. Um, I do want to take that out, so I'm going to just hang upstairs for the rest of it. Just keep pinging and get some more. Ooh. I think we need to hatch. We're taking 538, so that's going to put you at 45. It's going to be 27. Ooh. Oh no. That kills us. Oh, that that's not ideal. That is really not ideal. Hmm. Am I actually going to regret taking that double summon I think I have to kill that to save myself five health now we're doing 46 out of 85 so that's two hits for 18 if I ping for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
That brings me up to 22 damage taken and one egg hatched. Now we, I guess that really depends on what we draw next turn. I think we just let that pass, drop both train swords out. Awesome, we get the AOE. Um, very good draw there. And we are going to just ping our floor to hatch as much as possible, get as many used echoes as possible. And whew, make it through. That double egg is actually kind of hurting. Um, I think we take the Bounding Echoes. More infused cards is more better. Plus it's a consume for our ability. The Vent is also really good for that. And I think a Steelworker is good. We can uh, defend our double eggs a little bit better that way. Let's go Spells. We need to be able to cast things. Those are not what we want to cast. That's fine. Minus two doesn't have a home right now. Plus 10 Pierce doesn't have an ideal home. So we put the steel worker into our carver. We're just gonna see what concealed caverns has. We can offer five, get nothing. Resonant shard. See the issue is we have no rage right now. So we just skip that for gold. We're not a rage deck. Now we're at five, that's annoying because we do not want to die. Um, let's just make a couple of echo breaks free. We're gonna consume out a torch. That's a really good hit as well. Thank you, a game for at least one consume. We can minus two an echo break and we wanna pierce that vent, right? More options to get through damage shield and everything else is good for us. All right, so we just need to kind of hatch our eggs as soon as possible. This was a good draw for that, for one consume spell. There we go, two more consumes. Um, we're going to buy ourselves a round by just venting that middle floor. We can defend in the back. We're just going to double ping and get rid of train stewards. All right, I think we now have enough hits. We do need to take this unit out. We also want to take the double bomb out. Awesome. Alright, I think we're now at enough hits where we're not going to perish. There's a nice just clear the floor. Let's get rid of that damage shield. Yeah, this is good. We should pretty easily win this round of combat. Um, no point in pinging down there. So let's just do as much vent damage as possible. And now you're at 10. Ooh, nice. There we go. Nice, easy breakthrough for the kill. Give me my health back. <sighs> Another more of that. No, I think we take the on earth remains. Let's consume. It's purple, we don't want those infusions. We do want draws, because we need to inspire as much as possible. We do want this health in the hope of a multi-strike. No multi-strike, no multi-strike. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Um, let's check our map real quick. Magic steel, that's a good steal. Isn't it? Caverns plus steel. Versus Magic and Purge. Hmm. That's a map Pete. These are not ideal steals. So let's just go with plus 10 attack. 
All right, come on. Ooh, Sinner Sow. Nice. I totally forgot we are against Fell Wings of Damnation. I will be honest. That Silver Salve will, Sinner's Salve, excuse me, will help out quite a bit here. Ooh, spikes into these guys. Dangerous, but doable. All right, we get our defender up. We are simply going to send one back to get as much potential hatching done as possible. Take that out. Take you out. We're going to save the Ember, I think. We'll just take the 12 spike damage. Oof. Okay, this is a good one. Now we send that to the back. We're going to put all of the damage into that. Because we just have the clear there. And we can just take you out downstairs. Awesome. Let's ping and then just vent. This point, I think we're doing pretty good. Train steward, train steward. Let's fire once. Up top, we're just going to get as much inspires as possible. Down here, we're just going to get as much damage as possible. All right, I think this should be fine. There we go. Ooh, cleansing water. Very cool. None of this is good. Skip it all. Total recall is just junk in general. We already have a purple ancient resonance ambient charge. I don't feel like trying for the combo. Ooh, March's shields. Is that bad? No, it's not. I'm going to have three units top floor plus my final guy. I think actually March's shields is really good for us. We can rotate our units for survivability quite easily. All right, we want health, we want boons. Remove consume is a definite no, but minus ones are quite good. Let's put that March of Shields in minus one. Hold over, we could hold over the March of Shields. That's actually pretty decent for our survivability. We can minus one an echo break, consume out another torch. And let's purge some junk out. We have one infused train steward. Goodbye. We have a torch. Goodbye. All right, let's go. Let's go. I know they have spell shield. If only I had some way of giving my units or my damage spells pierce. Pierce. There we go. Apparently one shy. Could do math, but who does math? Alright, let's torch and then hosting can. And just finish wiping out that floor. I don't want train sewer to die to that floor though, so we're not gonna do that. Let's get as many echoes as possible. And I think we uh, deal 10 into the 15 health unit. Now they're all below 10 there. Let's see. Um, we torch to the middle unit. And we need to get as much through. That's 150. Let's start by torching in the back. Then six in the back. Putting this to 140, does that help? 150, that's 112. 142, yes, that's another 30 damage. Awesome. Just might be what we need to survive. Anyways, we heal up. Blast a unit. 
Blast another unit. We just kind of blast through things. We get rid of a pair of train stewards. Very cool. Now we don't have any real offensive scaling at the moment. But we do have a very wide floor. That apparently barely makes it through. Thankfully, we got rid of those life steals. All right. Who return soul could do a lot of good work for us. So could force contam, but I think we do the return soul. I want more consume action. Um, we take the pirate chomper on case we get some sort of transcend up shenanigans. Still, we still want to just do boons and more spells. All right, spell chain plus ten pierce. Another remove consume game. I want better than that, please. Another remove consume and hold over pairing. That is not ideal. All right. Spell chain on something. Let's spell chain the return soul. We want to consume out as much of our deck as possible. We just kind of plus 10 and echo break. Um, that's going to feed our worms once we get to the double worm summon. All right, that train steward can go away again. We get rid of this last torch. Pretty happy on our spells. I'm not happy with another holdover. I could hold over the return soul, but I need some more spell generation, I think. Luckily, we have Junk Prevention. Or at least Junk Getting Rid of Services. Thank you, Center Sal. Let's just get rid of some Junk. Can I take out one of these? Yeah, we do want to just take out one of those. Even though it hatches on a different floor, it's a good situation to be in to have that out of here. And we take out the 30 damage. Not a question there. So much junk. I could put three, we're gonna put three days in. Maybe we can redraw it. Um, which would be great for us. Ooh, more Ember, that pairs well, especially with my on Broken Horn. Let's save myself as much damage as I can while also getting more Inspire Triggers. Finally encounter that again. I'm gonna work on the front unit. And, well, now we can just do the back unit. You know, we get the clear on there. We want to clear the bottom floor units as well. All right, we do get another clear here. So we do want to guilt again. Fortunately, we're going to take a couple of hits to the face for 24. Oof. All right. We are going to put two echoes here just for days redraws, right? So we can put 10 into the boss and then days the boss. Let's get back both of these echo breaks and just consume them out. Now we have a very small deck. That's kind of ideal. 
Let's get Resonance back. Let's get Return Soul back. Let's get our other two spells back as well. Awesome. And we clear through. Easy. We had another 500 summon damage of Reef as well. Alright, Symphony is not bad, but we take the Accelerated Incubation. Ooh, do I still have a Temple? I have two Temples. Come on, Intrinsic. Um, more drop, please. Alright, Artifacts. Divine Temple shows me minus two and a Purge Stone. I actually like that. I don't have Multi-Strike for Demons, but I will take Infuse Mallet. It's horrible, but maybe it gets rid of a Damage Shield. Karuska's amazing. I do want to see what I miss. Base charge, lightstone casing. Sometimes it's good to spend that 60 gold just to see, ah, I can't get this artifact anymore, so I don't go for it. Um, and a purge. I actually don't want to purge anything. I want to save all my spells to be consumed. Because now we have the double bog deep cocoons going for us. More junk, but don't worry, Sinner Sal is going to save us. And let's just work on our hatch abilities. We get one hatched right away. Oh, we got them both hatched. Now at least all of our consumes will go to grow them. Of course, now I get accelerated incubation. Game, how dare you? Um, we do actually want this 10 piercing to take out that guy. Just one less junk is good for us. All right, let's infuse our floor. Let us do as much damage into the mid guy. We get a 65 damage kill there to sweep out the floor. I mean, the junk is definitely not appreciated. Ooh! Definitely not appreciated. Game. Um, 140 means you go up with 110. And I take 9. That does kill me. That... Oh, that kills me? E. Alright, let's try this again. Am I just getting too much junk? Let's get our hatch. I can do... 18... Plus 12 will take out one of you. We'll put three in the middle. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, can I... I'm going to clear out that floor. We are going to double consume these echo breaks. I think our scaling's a lot better at the moment. Just from hatch, uh, just from killing these guys a little bit earlier. Higher chopper is good. Um, get rid of this. 44 is not enough to get rid of you. So we just put that into the back. We do get the kill there. Awesome. Resonance gets us the kill again. 
What do I draw? I draw seven cards, including event and the guilt. So guilt's good because I can send this steel wings back. Um, and the vent's going to let me damage the floor, right? Oh, duh. Have to remember the bad draws here. Um, we're going to get back Ancient Resonance. I think we just clear the floors this turn. So we send you backwards. We vent out the floor. We pierce, pierce out this floor. Yeah. Now we don't get junk and we can just focus on our scaling and hope it's enough. Anyways, days. Let's get some armor. Armor. We're going to return this spell. We're going to return a fortify. And we're going to vent. We're not going to ping myself. No need to do that. Because now we daze. We return the daze. We can just honestly ping out the unit as much as we want. Return another return soul, return two more spells. Let's get the biggest damage ones. And then three more days where we are set. Come on, something with consume. Another return soul just to consume through the deck faster. I don't think that's it. I think it's the perfect insanity for the mini boss kills. Uh, we have no good imps for that import. No impish scholar infinite. And I don't think battering ram is worth it, unfortunately. <sighs> All right. Come on, intrinsic. Purge stone. I don't want a purge stone game. We do get a minus two. And we see hardened hall rail hammer. Oh, that is, those are two snap picks for me. We get another remove consume. Um, <laughs> do I just remove consume this? Is it ideal for us? Sure. Oh, why not? Uh, minus ones, let's minus one a torch. We're gonna consume out. An echo break, we can minus one. Another torch. A minus two on the vent, make it 14 damage. I don't want to purge things, I want my spells, thank you very much. Do we dupe anything? Let's just dupe this on Earth remains. Let's just get lots of echoes on our floor for, uh, Casting spells, right? Nice five damage game. Definitely appreciate it. That is not sarcasm. I'm going to hold up on all my consumed spells. And we're going to put 10 damage into the multi striker. Alright. Now, the eggshell I am going to use. And we are just going to vent things away. Now we're going to consume out all of our spells. We wanted to greed this as much as possible, and I am happy to do so. Let's take out weaklings. Well, they're not necessarily weak. We can take out annoying guys. Haha, <laughs> Ember. Um, go away. Get some armor. Go away. Get rid of a damage shield. Get some more armor. Maybe I did want that battering ram. Too late now. But you are a good tank. Alright. Just take out these units that are in our way. 
A good perfect insanity? Yeah, let's do that. Because we still and add full echoes. Alright. Let's honor three mains. Ping out the annoying unit. Ping out another annoying unit. We can daze. Ping you out and let's just do... 10 into the boss. I believe in my... Those are some nice mallet hits. Anyways, I believe in my ability to just kind of kill things. And we do a big vent. Clear the floor. Lots of sap, but we also have quite a bit of defense up top. Um, it's horn break. We clear. We return the horn break. We return the on earth remains. Very cool. Let's go ahead and just. Oh no. I don't want to take damage. That would be absurd. All right. Let's get our March of Shields in. Let us honor three mains. Then we can ping that out for exact damage. Get rid of a damage shield. Give you minus 666 and another 10. And we clear out the floor. Not the strongest of scaling, but it is enough. Thank you for the sound effects, Marsh Lord. Pew, pew. All right, Divinity, bring it on. What do we find? Already the mallet's paying off. Steelworker, go. Echo right, go. Let's get our echoes, and we are just going to daze you turn one. And we are going to save our greed once again. Ember is good. Armor, armor. Blast the floor. Anything worth taking out? You're all just going to heal up, so let's take out the multi strike. Come on, where's my eggshell hatching? This is not worth abounding echoes. Oof. But we're still gonna use it. I should have just given two of my spells consume anyways there. Man, body decking the accelerated incubation. That was sad. I probably shouldn't have played that as I did, but whatever. You can't stop me. Alright, we can ping out the multi-striker. Deal as much damage into the front as possible. Sure, we're taking damage, but I think... Now we might be in ability or in a place to do something. No, we're not. We're gonna die. <laughs> okay, we won't be that greedy anymore, unfortunately. We're just going to hatch as soon as possible our units. And we can just go ahead and clear out the multi-striker. We want to clear out floors a little bit before they get to us with the big damage pierce spells. I think that is ideal. Let's get rid of this horn break. Let's get rid of the fortify. We're gonna take a lot of damage here, but it's fine. 
we have almost we ended with a hundred armor still, yeah. Alright. Clear out that guy in the back. Now the mini boss is our big worry, right? Um, we're going to ping this unit in the back as much as possible because we have the AOE to clear everything else out. Aha! Perfect timing. Minus 666. Wonderful. Um, let's infuse. Let's get back. On Earth remains one. On Earth remains two. Let's go ahead and daze divinity and then we just vent bottom to take out two units. Yeah, that's ideal. That is very ideal. Yeah, no one likes you. Um, let's ping this middle unit. Ooh, that's 10, 14, so 24, 34, 48. Nope, that, that's a death. Game, stop killing me. Stop it. How dare you do that to me? Someone's gonna go back to this, check my math and say I'm wrong, but oh well. Alright. Heal, heal. And get that out. Kill that guy on the bottom. We just need to kind of keep weakening waves so we actually survive. Um, honestly, maybe it's the March of Shields I get rid of. Well, if, obviously it's the Horn Break first. That is not needed. Um, yeah, I think we get rid of the March of Shields. I think it keeps me from trying my other good spells. We're gonna vent bottom just as a precaution for the future. All right, let's just kind to kind of pink out this unit. And we ping. Ping again, ping one more time, we daze out divinity, do 10 damage. Ooh, we didn't draw the perfect insanity this time. What game? Don't do that to me. I can kill that guy, but can I kill this mini boss still is the question. Um. Five forty-eight. No. Wow. Really? Really? Didn't redraw my insanity. Why would you do that to me? I need that to kill the mini boss. So why I drafted you? How would? Dare you betray me? So I guess uh, consuming that out was the wrong call. Hard to believe it. But apparently it was. So let's get rid of the fortify. Still vent the bottom floor. C 
65. Let's just put that in there. Maybe we get a little bit more into the boss that way. Well, let's not hold over the March of Shields this time. All right, we are killing that floor. We do want to kill the mini but I want my best chance of drawing the insanity, which we just get straight off the top this time. Man, RNG difference sometimes is just too real in this game. Anyways, let's get rid of the last horn break. Let's get rid of an on earth remains. We're kind of at the point, we just need to make it through to Divinity. Right, this just clears here, which is amazing for us. Um, let's get rid of the two, or two some more spells. We clear the floor. all we need to do constantly. Let's just put this into the middle unit. And could just like pop one of these. I think we save it though. All right, do we get through the next mini boss? find out. Let's just consume out our return souls now. We blast with an AoE. Um, let's get an echo break back. And the resonance, we blast an AoE. We blast one more. That doesn't kill it. Ooh. Okay, it dies in one hit up there. I do think we have this on Relentless, though. Let's just take down another bunch of health there, clear out a little bit more damage, and then we clear the floor. Okay, we made it. Ugh. <laughs> Sub fifty K run summary. Yeah. Oh well, was what it was. Um, we did make it through. I do think that accelerated incubation, the lack of intrinsic at those last two temples really hurt us, um, which is very unfortunate. If that was intrinsic, it would have been so much smoother. Our dudes would have had a good chunk more health um, and attack, more importantly attack. Let's find it. We didn't. We did make it through. It did require a little bit of uh, correct playing. Um, uh, I think this the, was my second restart on Divinity was a correct line. It just happened, you know, drawing seven of, was it nine cards, if I remember right, of my deck. Of course, the bottom two was my... Uh, my perfect insanity so I couldn't kill the mini boss. If it was anything else, it would have been fine, but no, it hit the perfect insanity there, so I could not kill a unit. That was very unfortunate. But otherwise, it was pretty fun, right? Um, I do enjoy a good Echo Right run. <laughs> the Ashes of the Fallen gave me double eggs, and honestly, Early game when I didn't have the support for double eggs martial art, it kind of hurt my plan, right? 
It hurt me ring two quite a bit. Um, I think it hurt me ring four, maybe ring five. No, I think it was fine there. After that, it was a lot better. But still, we took a lot of damage. Ooh, we had, what, three clean rounds? That's it? That is not ideal. Um, we definitely needed both of those eggs at the end, though, to uh, punch through all the divinity waves and win. But before that, man, was it a struggle. It was a struggle. Uh, key takeaways, we needed some scaling here. And we, I did not find the scaling I preferred. I think I skipped a ritual battle. Maybe I'm imagining that. That could have been good, especially with all the minus twos I saw. But we did get there in the end. We did win. So, you know, yeah, yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching and have fun.